Hi, this is Father Barry in the Daily Word for Friday, November the 20th. And our collect, grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Uh, you may recognize the place here in the Keffer Center. And it's our big courtyard behind me. And right behind that wall is where Mass is taking place as I film. I've had three Masses this weekend, and now we have a, another priest leading that next one. I'm filming on Sunday, and I'm just uh, keeping busy between Masses. I have to uh, come out and speak. Uh, at the end of this particular Mass. And I think of the temple area of our parish that we're celebrating from November 12, 1989 till today, uh, 31 years of worship in this house of the Lord that that's you, the parishioners, and the staff have uh, erected and filled with prayer and worship and, and done a lot of good things here on this property and so the gospel then fits in, as I think with affection, uh, the parish uh, building that church there and then getting up this whole Kepper Center. And as of just a couple of weeks ago, uh, everything is paid off. Everything is paid off with this center. That's so lovely here. The gospel of the day, Jesus entered the temple area and proceeded to drive out those who are selling things saying to them it is written my house shall be a house of prayer but you have made it a den of thieves and every day he was teaching in the temple area the chief priests the scribes and the leaders of the people meanwhile were seeking to put him to death because they could find no way to accomplish their purpose because all the people were hanging on his words the gospel of the lord So we think of our Lord and Savior, and when he went to the temple, it was truly his house, you know. It was truly Jesus' house. It was his father's house, as he said. And he was disappointed at the kind of activity going on. And he said, this is supposed to be a house of prayer. So what's going on? So we think of all the times that we are gathering here in our church and the prayer that takes place here. I was counting about 17,000 liturgies in the upstairs church since we began. And each one is very precious to the Lord. And this week in the first readings, it's about the book of Revelation and about the lamb and the scroll and him presenting uh, a people, a kingdom of priests and uh, an assembly of the just, a God the Father. And well, it takes place through his blood sacrifice, his lamb, the lamb who was slain. And that's what we celebrate, the lamb of God in all our liturgies and masses. This image behind me in the Kepher Center does show the, the Lord and the marks, the wounds on him that he took upon himself to save the world. And in his resurrection appearances, he, he shows the cost of winning us for salvation. And so the cross and the resurrection is, is what we uh, celebrate in every Mass. We, we call it, you know, the dying and rising mystery of our Lord. We call it the Paschal mystery. And it includes that hope that Christ will come in glory to us, that all that we are investing and living this life of faith will all bear fruit when, as we put ourselves into Christ, we will come out in the end as the children of the Lord in glory. This is Father Barry.